Hello there, I'm Adam Shaw, I'm the Heart Guy. This is Small Biz Experts. I'm gonna be talking on this video about getting your work-life balance right. So, I used to work um, with the critically ill, with people in acute medicine during my time as a nurse. And a lot of the entrepreneurs that I spoke to that were coming in with heart attacks, sometimes strokes, sometimes cancer, all sorts of serious things would be happening to them, which were definitely exacerbated by the stress response. And a very frequent energy and dynamic for people who are entrepreneurs, who do run their own business, is that in their minds they want the business to be successful so the family will be looked after. When the reality is, for a lot of people, is that this belief that you have to keep earning money so that the family will be okay, um, usually it's the family saying, but we never see our mum or we never see our dad. And this is the work-life balance where things go wrong because people don't communicate. It's really important to work out why you're in business. Why is it important to you? What, what are you doing it for? And if you don't know what the bigger picture of your life is, you know, what really motivates you, you know, is it to change the world? Is it, is it to, to love, to feel love all the time? You know, why do, is earning money important to you? Why is being in business important to you? What will you do if your business is a success? What will it enable you to do? If you didn't have to earn any money, if, if money was not part of the equation, what would you do with your time? And it's often the fact that people don't take the time out to think about these things until it's too late. So that's why I usually used to work with people often when they had to address this because they had a serious medical complaint. But quite honestly, I can see this coming years in advance through the people that I met and the energy I met and being an entrepreneur myself. So. In order to get your work-life balance right, there has to be a time that you take out of the business. Now this is tough for a lot of entrepreneurs, even if it's, even if it's a one hour a day or one day of the week. You know, turn your phone off for a period, be present with your family, your friends, whatever it is, whoever it is you're going to want to spend your time with. Because what you will realise, maybe not at this stage of your life, but certainly later in your life, is that your friends really matter. And when you're sitting there in the future, now, if you don't die suddenly, this is probably going to happen to you, you're going to be in a hospital bed, you're going to be feeling very vulnerable, you're going to be facing death, possibly. You're going to be thinking, what is the point of life? And I used to counsel people through that really difficult transition. And if you've gone through your life prioritising your business over your friends, over your relationships, then you're in for a very lonely time at the end of your life. And you'll be sat there thinking, where did it all go wrong? So start thinking, who are the people that matter to you? Start prioritising time, taking time out of your business to do the things with the people that you like spending time with, with the people that have been good to you. Because it is a two-way street. So start thinking about it. Start thinking, if you want to know why, what is important to you, just ask yourself for what purpose. Why are you an entrepreneur? What is the purpose? You know, to earn money. Well, earn money for what purpose? Well, is it to look after your family? Is it to make a difference? You know, how would you invest? What charities would you invest in? How can you best spend your time to make a difference in people's lives? And so many people don't think about these things until it's too late. So there's my suggestion. Write out a list of what is important to you. If you earned all of the money that you possibly would need, how would you spend your time? And who would benefit from that time spent? So take time out and consider these things and make sure that you get to the best of your capabilities, your work-life balance correct. So that's my little tip for you to get you thinking about the bigger purpose of being in business or being an entrepreneur. Because if you're not prepared to even think about this now, there will be a day in the future where this will become very important. I'm Adam Shaw, I'm the Heart Guy, and this is Small Biz Experts. And remember to subscribe here so that you get more great content every Friday.